how has been your unit test dear students have you realized the importance of live classes for the preparation of these unit test so keep taking your live classes as well watching the e videos we reached up to chapter 8 the last chapter of our half yearly syllabus what is the name structure and function of the living organisms plants i can say there are two chapters in our science book chapter 8 and chapter 9 these two chapters are called by me the twins chapter do you know why because in chapter 8 there is structure and function of living organisms plants and in chapter 9 structure and functions of the living organisms animals now see the picture given at the top this is the picture of a leaf dear student a leaf which is also known as the kitchen of the plant because it is responsible for the preparation of food for the whole plant in this chapter of ours we are going to study about the structure functions and modifications of each and every part of the plant body good morning students ready to learn science with me let's go as you know a typical plant consists of or you can say a flowering plant consists of following parts roots stem branches leaves bud jisko kali bhi bolte hain flowers fruits and one is missing there let me give you clue that is responsible to produce the new plant yaad aaya that is seed so these all are the important parts of a flowering plant now what is the content present inside our chapter which we are going through very simple structure function and modifications of each and every part like roots stem leaves flower fruit and seed we will study about all these along with there are two new terms for you one is the pollination and another is fertilization so let's take first page of our chapter page number 123 as you know variety of plants are present around you you are asked here to give name of three flowering and three non flowering plant and that is so simple because we did in our previous chapter mango neem and morning glory these are flowering plants you can give another name of flowering plants algae mosses one more is left and fern are the known flowering plants so uh, memorize them forever because these are not so popular here i uprooted a sada bahar plant from my kitchen garden for you so that i can show the each and every part there in this plant you can see and you can also do such a type of differentiation of plants at your home now come to the next page page number 124 a flowering plant consist of two main systems these two main systems are the root system and the shoot system so if someone ask in how many systems you can divide a plant answer is we can divide a flowering plant into two main systems number 1 the root system and number 2 the shoot system 
in our next topics we will also differentiate between these two systems now we are going to discuss in detail about the root system what is the root system the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called the root system it consists of roots now what are the functions of the roots it holds the plant firmly into the soil roots are responsible to grip the plant firmly into the soil dear student the next next one it absorbs water and mineral from the soil ab pata chala ki hum podhe ko pani kyon dete hain we water the plant so that the roots present in the soil can absorb it and send up to the leaves for making the food third function of the roots is it acts as the storage organ of food materials i want to realize the this function broadly have you ate turnip radish carrot beetroot etc all these are actually the roots of these plants so think about how skillful the human beings are the part of the plant whether it is the flower in case of cloves the roots in case of this beet root carrots etc or the fruit in case of mango etc all these are eaten by us as a food for our needs next function it binds or you can say root bind the soil and prevent soil erosion what is soil erosion the top rem the removal of top soil by the natural forces like the wind or the water is called soil erosion so if a plant binds the soil present there it is not able to affected by these natural forces like wind and water in this way soil is protected from being blown or washed away this is all about the functions of roots dear students now come to the next topic and that is how many types of root systems are there in plants or you can say classifications of root system there are two types of root system in plants present around us number 1 tap root system number 2 fibrous root system what is the difference between two that is given at page number 124 and 125 so we will go through one by one here this is the text given there in a number of plants it is observed that when a seed germinate a single root grows downwards into the soil and then it branches into the smaller lateral roots what is tap root system when a seed germinate jab ek seed germinate karna shuru karta hai ek single root sabse pehle aati hai niche tak badhti hai fir usme se patli patli finer lateral roots aati hain this this type of root system is found in pea mustard bean gram etc and i can say mostly in the dicotyledon seeds tap roots are present see the picture shown here i have uprooted this plant also from my kitchen garden a single root grows downward that is prominent one and then the lateral fine roots arises from that main root now come to the fibrous root system in some plants it is observed that when a seed germinate several roots grows downward at the same time from the base of the stem such an arrangement of roots is called fibrous root system jab ek seed germinate karta hai usme se bahut sari roots you can see the picture several roots grows downward ek hi time mein bahut sari roots base of the stem se nikal jati hain such an arrangement of root system is known as fibrous root system rice 
grasses, wheat, maize, etc. are the examples of such root system. Now, two activities are given in our book, dear student. These are interesting one. First activity is all about to see that roots are geotropic. Means roots always grow, tends to grow downward. While the stem always tends to grow upward towards the sun. And the second activity is about sowing of multigrains in a pot. You will follow the instructions given in these two activities and set these two arrangements in such a way that we can see the results later on. I will also keep these two activities to show you the results later. This is all about today's content dear student. I am leaving you behind with an interesting fact. This is the fastest growing plant on the earth. It belongs to the category of herb. It is supposed to be the grass, but the tallest one, that is the bamboo plant. So, stay connected with plants. Have a very good day, dear students.